Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at Baumer and I'm here with Oliver. Oliver, I had to stop on your stand because one, I saw this great big remote yep. control, then I saw this huge machine and I thought, I know nothing about the business. Tell me about Geotech, the business and what you do. Yeah, Geotech Board Technique is found 25 years ago. Yeah. We produce in a year round about 60 to 70 machines for geotechnic, geothermal drilling holes. Waterwell is a big business for us too because uh, um, the water will go deeper in the ground in Germany and that is a big problem. Right. So folks, water well drilling geothermal, it's actually becoming more and more important now when you're talking about water tables and we're also talking about how people are, are putting new systems in place. So you have very big machine here and you have a lot of different types of machine. And of course, for safety, you've got a big remote control as yep. well. For safety and for easy handling, for fast handling and the remote control is a big nice equipment on a machine. Yep, so I'm going to put this out here. I love remote control. I love us being safer in the industry, folks. So I'm here, folks, to discover more about engines and how manufacturers like this are actually using the technologies of Stage 5 in machines like this. You've had a relationship with the dealer here and the Perkins business yep. uh, for quite a while, and now you've got all of the engines in these machines. Tell me a little about, about how they've helped you with the design and putting the engines into the machine. Yeah. Before we start a new generation diesel engine in the machine, we have to speak with uh, dealer BU Power Systems and we have a really good partnership. We design around the engine and the, we design the tank system for uh, mounted the engine. And after design, we have to speak with BU Power System, with the engineers, because uh, um, the lifting system, the right. details, the hydraulic system for perfect engineering the engine in the whole system. Yeah. It's, uh, it's very important. We have no too much degrees. The engine had work with 80 degrees, 90 degrees in a perfect situation. And with our dealer, BO Power Systems, we have a partnership on test the machine after engineering and building with uh, Mary systems on and in the machines is the temperature right or wrong. And right. if we have a perfect system, we are finished and can sell the machine. One of the things that I like to talk about is how people are using Stage 5 engines to reduce the cost of ownership for the, cost of the customer and also to get the value out of every little drop of fuel. That's really important right now and you've redesigned this machine and your range to have the Perkins Stage 5 engine. The customers really want that added value, don't they? Tell me about the, the response from the customers. At the moment we have the situation uh, the diesel will cost in Germany around about uh, €2.25. Yep. Last year €1.50, €1.60. That's the reason we have to save diesel. Yep. That's very important. And with the BU system, with the working together for engineering the machine, we have the best system to save diesel per day. A lot of machines working around about eight to ten hours per day. Some machines working around around the, the, the clock, clock yep. the whole day in the night on important uh, sites, and we need we save diesel. Yep. for safe money. It's and that's, folks, why I'm here at Baumer to, to find out about businesses like yours. 24-7 round the clock, something like this is working. That means every 1% value saving we can get adds up to a lot of saving in fuel for your customers. So highly engineered pieces of equipment here, very technical that we're doing. They've got to think about safety and the way that we're drilling and what we're doing here as well but we've also got to think about what we're putting into the machine that delivers the value for your customers so that they can keep on drilling. So yes. fantastic to meet you, Oliver. Cheers. You're welcome. Thank you very much. 
So I'm joined now with Peter here at the Geotech stand. Peter, you actually from the dealer, uh, the BM Power Systems dealer for Perkins Engines here in Germany. And what was interesting really that I heard from Oliver earlier from Geotech is the work that you do with the business to actually make the engine get inside their machines and allow them to do things better. Stage five engine in here, folks a much smaller product than we saw with Oliver, but that's the nature of how we minimise the size of engines now, isn't it, with Perkins, to allow you to do this, engineer it, and put all the wiring and everything in for these guys. Absolutely. Power density is key, and the insulation, I mean, you see the space we have here, mm. and to implement an engine is, uh, is a piece of work, and uh, also to allow the engine to, to run under perfect conditions. Yeah, that's, and that's it's about optimization isn't it so what i talked to oliver about earlier was uh, also the fact that, that they're giving you some of the element of the machine to actually with the bigger machines do the work th yourself before that then gets taken back to the factory for assembly that's important as well isn't it yeah that's that's uh, correct uh, peter we we are part of their their manufacturing uh, we supply wiring looms we uh, we uh, build for them and then also we uh, Geotech uh, supplies their base frame yep. uh, for the machine, for the bigger model, and we m assemble everything on their base frame so that they can put the complete frame in the machine and uh, help them to uh, shorten production times. So we're talking about Stage 5 engines here. We're also talking about with Stage 5, you actually have to change the way you operate a machine as well. So Oliver was talking about high temperatures and things like that that they've got to avoid, you know, obviously when you put an engine inside a machine. But equally, you need to actually optimise the performance of that machine and it needs to actually run hard a Stage 5 engine with all of that, um, the way in which it's designed and all the after treatment. So again, you've worked with the team to actually work through the process of what engine goes where, how to optimise that engine and make it right for the application, which sometimes goes 24-7, doesn't it? Absolutely. I mean, these machines uh, need to be robust and efficient, and that is, that is very important. And you see the, the space, the uh, assembling space, um, it's, it's, it's minimal. And so uh, our, our goal is really to, um, to engineer a perfect uh, product together with Geotech. I mean, we, we work with Geotech since, since decades now, and uh, our engineers and the, and the development of uh, Geotech uh, are linked, very much linked, and the cooperation is, uh, is very tight, so uh, that, that the engineers sit together. We're doing consulting. We're doing uh, then. Uh, we, we're choosing the right, uh, the right engine and the right power node, and then together we uh, we implement the engine in the machine. And this is where you just don't realise the actual effort that goes into it. The, the engineering. I mean, we we are doing sourcing together and and uh, trying to keep the business moving together. So sourcing components that go with the engine, getting everything working, and fundamentally drilling down uh, for customers all around the region here and around the world. And I think fundamentally we've got a lot of things going on in this product. And now we can understand how that's all put together, how that's supported, and of course, all the after sales and service that you guys do. And guess what, folks? From here, it's quite easy to service this from ground level for this little machine. Equally so, the servicing capability and the larger ones as well, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, that is uh, also uh, uh, the, our aim to have one service side, to have good access for service work, and that is part of the engineering. Thanks very much for spending some time with me today, Peter. In the sunny Baumer that we've got today, I've been drilling down into how they work with engines in the geotechnic sense. So great. Cheers. Yeah. Peter, thank you for your interview.